How's it going everyone? Shane with Scoop Hash here, and there's some exciting news coming from the Halo television series from Showtime. As the game series' voice actress is being brought in to play Cortana after a scheduling conflict has led to a casting change. Before I start, I just want to say that I'm going to try my best to say all the names in this story correctly, but I am not very good with names, so if I mess something up, I'm terribly sorry, and please don't yell at me. I'm going to be trying my best, but I'm bad at it. The role of Cortana was originally going to be played by Natasha McElhone, who was set to play the AI as well as Dr. Catherine Halsey, the founder of the Spartan Project and who Cortana was modeled after within the lore of the world. But due to conflicts arising from the COVID-19 pandemic, McElhone had to drop out of playing Cortana. So the series brought in Jen Taylor, who has played Cortana in the mainline series of games since the beginning. She also played Dr. Halsey in the games, but McElhone will be staying on as that role in the show. It is also not clear whether uh, Taylor will be just doing voice work, will be playing the role in person, or will be doing some kind of motion capture for a CGI character. We're not sure in what capacity she is going to be brought in for the character, just that she is going to be reprising the role. Regardless of how it turns out, it's exciting to see the actress, who many of us have had play Cortana for so long, return to the role in this new show. For those unaware, Cortana is the companion AI for Master Chief, the mainline series' iconic protagonist. The first three games saw the two work together to take down the Covenant and Flood, with the fourth game exploring Cortana's decline into rampancy, a condition for AIs in the world of Halo where they begin to break down and more or less go insane. Then in Halo 5, Cortana returned as a villain, using Forerunner technology to cure her rampancy and convince her to bring AIs as a dominant force in the universe. And in the upcoming Halo Infinite, we are not sure how Cortana will play into it. Uh, we only know that at the end of Halo 5 Guardians, there's a secret cutscene if you beat the game on Legendary that showed a new Halo ring being activated while Cortana hums. And since Halo Infinite seems to be taking place on a Halo ring, we're assuming that that comes into play in some way. That was too big of a twist to have Cortana become a villain for them to just not visit again in the new game. The show's first season is set for nine episodes, being produced and directed by Otto Bathurst from Peaky Blinders and Black Mirror. So, pretty good uh, track record right there with those two shows. It is also being produced with 343 Industries, the studio behind the newest games, and Steven Spielberg's Amblin Entertainment. Pablo Schreiber will be playing Master Chief, alongside David Sapani, Olive Gray, Bokeem Woodbine, Shabana Azmi, Bentley Kalu, Natasha Kulzak, and Kate Kennedy all in as well. Not much is known about the story of the show, just that Showtime says it will tell the story of an epic 26th century conflict between humanity and an alien threat known as the Covenant. Halo will weave deeply drawn personal stories with action, adventure, and a richly imagined vision of the future. Given that uh, summary of what they're going for with the story, we can assume it will be taking place before Halo 4, probably during the first three games, as that's when humanity was at war with the Covenant. We also don't know if we are going to see Master Chief's face in the show, something we never do in the games except for a brief glimpse of his eyes in a secret ending for Halo 4. But given how fans reacted to Judge Dredd taking off his helmet in the Sloan movie, we can't imagine going over well with the fans of this game series. For their sake, it's best if they leave the helmet on. Halo has been talks for having shows made about it and movies for a very, very long time, going all the way back to having Peter Jackson attached, and then Neil Blomkamp, the director of District 9. This is the first big project we've seen for this series, and we hope they pull it off. Obviously, video game adaptations don't always pan out well, but with it being an episodic series, which gives the story more time to breathe and develop, and with plenty of production power behind it, we think they have a shot to make it work. We'll just have to wait and see, though we have no idea when the show will actually air. We just know that there is a lot of lore and a lot of stuff going on in the Halo universe and plenty of stories to be told and we, we just hoping they do it well. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Share it with everyone and anyone you know we sure would appreciate it. And for all your Halo news and more be sure to check back in here with Scoop Hash.